Get ready for some really hot weather during the coming week, along with the high humidity and the chances for some storms, some typical summertime weather here in central Virginia. You can see where the heat is coming from. A big dome of hot air building from Texas northward all the way to Omaha. Right now it is 92 degrees and we're going to see several days in the 90s here in central Virginia. A little bit of action out here across the plains, a tornado watch into parts of southern or western South Dakota into Wyoming. Severe thunderstorm watch a little bit farther south in the yellow. We had our share of severe weather this morning that moved on through here in the metro area and there's still the possibility for a couple more storms tonight. You see this little storm out in Fluvanna County and one seems to be building a little bit behind that just south of Charlottesville and southern Albemarle County. These will ride to the southeast likely passing south of Richmond, but a few more will likely develop as the evening wears on and there is a potential for some strong thunderstorms. Any that develop, they're going to be very widely scattered or even just isolated, but could produce some torrential downpours and some damaging winds. So a slight risk of severe weather remains in effect across the entire area tonight. Now tomorrow, Coverage of thunderstorms is going to be pretty low. 20% or less is your chance for a thunderstorm tomorrow. Greatest chance of any severe weather would be north and west of town. That is a marginal risk. And then on Tuesday, the entire area goes back under a marginal risk. So we're going to see some pretty good storms develop from time to time over the next several days with the high heat and humidity. 82 degrees outside right now. The dew point, which back on Friday was in the 50s, is in the low 70s. Really muggy makes it feel like 87 degrees outside right now. Here's our temperature trend through the week and notice we stay in the 90s until we get to next weekend. Another front comes on through on Friday and that will cool us back into the 80s Saturday and Sunday. Overnight tonight, couple of storms popping up here and there. So one may pass on by your house. Others may stay completely dry through the night. This is midnight as we go through the overnight things really quiet down. Good amount of sunshine on the way for tomorrow and a few storms may flare up. We do think most of it would be east of I-95 tomorrow afternoon and very isolated activity for your Monday. Going into Monday night, things are pretty quiet. And then on Tuesday morning, a little cluster. I told you this northwest flow coming northwest to southeast. These little disturbances riding into the area over the mountains. Another one comes through Tuesday morning, so that could produce a few more storms and it stays really, really hot with more storms flaring up here and there as we go into Wednesday. So for tonight, nothing more than an isolated passing storm, but it might put down a quick downpour. 71 overnight in town, 65 to 70 in some rural communities. Tomorrow, the chances for rain in the metro area pretty low. Might be a few up in the mountains and a few to the east of I-95. 87 degrees at lunchtime, high temperature tomorrow, 94 degrees. But with the high humidity, the heat index may touch 100 and that will be the same story on Tuesday still in the mid 90s lower 90s here notice rain chances 20 to 30 percent will uh, put that graphically for you over the course of the week chances go up by the time we get to Friday as the next front comes on through and that will clear us out next weekend the humidity will drop so will the temperatures with highs in the mid 80s.